actually get my cases all at the same length. And I do that by using one of these. This is a digital caliper. And you can see that when I turn it on and the jaws are together, it is at zero. And you refer to your reloading manual. In there, you'll come to your chapter on the cartridge that you're reloading for. In this case, it's 22250 Remington. And from this spot here to the very back of the cartridge, there's a spec in there of 1.912. That's the length you want to trim your cases to. So you grab one of your cases, you measure it up, and this one here measures 1.915. 1 so it is actually a little longer, so we can actually trim that down just a touch. Uh, now this is a Forrester trimmer, so it has a little step piece in there, and you tighten it up like this, and it fits into one spot, and then it tightens up on it. I usually like to put it in and back it off so it's centered on, on this little piece right here. Now, since I trim 22250 quite often, trim a little bit off of there, measure it 1.125, so just a hair more. A little bit come off of there. Now we're at our 1.912 right there. Make sure we can see that. That's the correct that is the correct length for that case. So you want to make sure you do that to each and every one of them from that point onward. Now once you've got your cases all trimmed to one standard length, the next thing that you want to do is grab your deburring, the chamfer tool, and the one that I'm using looks like, there's a handle for it. Actually, no, we're not going to use the handle. There it is there. Chamfering deburring tool all in one. You can get other pieces that fit on a handle. This is the one here that I use because I can do one end and I can switch around and do the other. And how that works is you just fit this into the case. You just rough, you want to do it enough so that it takes off the burr on the inside and then this one here takes the burr off on the outside. You do that to each and every case. So now that we've done all our sizing, deburring, and chamfering, it's time to prime these cases. And a lot of people will use a hand primer or something like that where you put the primers in here and you shake them, make them face all the right side up so that you should see inside of the primer. And then they'll take their shell holder right here and they'll put it on here. And you put your case in and open this little door up by turning this. There's a little door there that you can shut it off so not too many primers go in. You can allow one in at a time. And then the primer will slide down in below this hole. And then when you press up like that, a little pin comes up, pushes that primer into the bottom of the case. That's one method. The other method, the one that I like to use, involves using the press itself. And what I do is you take this little bar here and you drop it on top like that, pull back on your lever, let that bar fall inside of the ramrod, and now you can see that's in there. There's a spring-loaded cup there. You press down on it, you can see that it comes back up. Uh, what you want to do is take a primer, make sure that it's the right side up, place it inside of that little cup, and you can see that it's in there now. back in there. Grab a case that's nice and cleaned out on the inside. Pull back just a bit so that that uh, cup is below the shell holder. And then what I do is I just let it sit there like that. 
and then I grab this and just ever so gently press it until you feel it stop and it's not a lot of pressure just enough so that you can get that primer to sit inside there nice and flush and then you have a reloaded shell primed shell you have a primed shell 